My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma Girls. Hi everyone, Glamma here. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday at Glamma's. Thank you so much for watching that commercial at the beginning of this video. I appreciate it. That's what's helping me continue to bring this channel to you for free. So thank you so much. Today we are going to be making Glamma's bow tie cowl to go along with Glamma's bow tie hat that we made last week. Yay! So you're going to have a matching set if you like it. So anyway, I will let you know what you will be needing, okay? Stand by. Yarn, a pair of scissors, and an eye hook. And today's nail polish color is by LA Colors. And it doesn't have a name, but it does have a number. BCC589. And I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart. That's where I get a lot of my supplies. So this is the color of the day and the reason I'm mentioning my nail polish color again is because I had stopped doing that um, but many of y'all have requested for me to start that up again so here you go okay so we're gonna get started with a um, slip knot okay so many of y'all already know how to make a slip knot those of y'all who don't just wrap it around your finger bring this yarn through right there lift it up with your hook and there's your slip knot okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to make a chain of I'm gonna make mine 135 because that's the length that I made for the thumbnail picture that you saw at the beginning of the video so to make a chain just yarn over pull it through that loop yarn over pull it through that loop and you're making chains yay you've already made three one two three yarn over pull up a loop do that for 135 chains okay and the way to count your chains is by how many of these little V's that you have one two three four yay all right now if you want to make yours longer by all means go ahead and make yours longer but mine is going to be 135 um, chains long all right see you in a minute okay so I have my 135 long chain okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to make double crochet so to make a double crochet yarn over and we're going to need three chains for the height of a double crochet so we're going to go one two three we're going to skip those three and we're going to stitch into the fourth one because by stitching into the fourth one we're leaving the three for the height of our double crochet okay so yarn over go into the fourth one yarn over pull up a loop yarn over go through two loops yarn over go through two loops and you're going to do that to every single chain that you made okay all the way down till you get to the other end okay so meet me when you get over there alrighty guys see you in a little bit okay so I am close to the end I've got two more stitches to go or two more chains to go and then I'm going to show you how to turn your work around. Okay, and there we go. And now we are going to chain three because remember that's the height for a double crochet. And we're going to turn our work around this way. And now we're going to um, yarn over. And that chain three is acting as our double crochet and it's sitting on top of that double crochet so we're not going to work that stitch because there's already a stitch coming out of there which is the chain in this case so we're going not going to go there we're going to go into the next one grabbing both sides of the V of the stitch see pull up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and so now we're going to do this all the way till we get to the other end okay so yeah this is it it's super super simple just like all the rest of my tutorials I like to keep all of my all of my tutorials as simple as possible 
Alrighty, so just continue this way all the way till you get to the other end. Alrighty, and we're going to do this just when we get to the other end. We're going to do the exact same thing we did here. We're going to chain three, turn our work around, and continue. We're going to do that row after row until well, I'm going to do it until my work until my work measures about six inches. Okay, so here we are. You can go a little longer if you want, but that's I'm going to stop when my work measures six inches, and then we're going to do something a little differently. And then we're going to continue on till it measures 12 inches at the end. So the cowl is actually going to be rather wide. So if you don't want a really wide cowl, you don't have to do that. But that's how mine is going to work. And the reason is because I want mine to not only go on the neck, but I also kind of want it to go on the shoulders, okay? So it's kind of going to be, yeah, it's. I want it to be on the neck, keep the neck warm as well as the shoulders and the... And the chest area so all right I'll see you when your work measures six inches or so okay guys so I went ahead and um, double crocheted all the way back and forth for about six inches you know till my project reached six inches and for me that was 12 rows of double crochet and so here I am I am just finished a row and so now what we're going to do is here let me see if I can get up here um, determine go ahead and put this around you or the person that you're making this for and determine we're going to make like a a little slit for the bow to go through as a buttonhole so basically we're making a big buttonhole okay right about there okay so determine where you want your buttonhole to be because wherever your buttonhole is that's where the bow is going to show I'm starting a new row I'm gonna double crochet 19 stitches and then I'm going to leave probably one two three four five six seven seven or eight um, stitches unworked but I'll go ahead and do that on camera with you I just wanted to show you how I was determining where I was going to start my um, my little buttonhole okay so I hope you understood that all right I'm going to get the camera back into position so you can watch me crochet okay so I've got the camera back in position it's normal position and so I said I was going to double crochet 19 you know I think I'm gonna just make it an even 20 um, so yeah I chain up three one two and three and now I am just going to double crochet for 20 stitches wait hold on my daughter's out there visiting you can probably hear her um so yeah I'm going to count that as one, two, and then I'm going to go up 18 more stitches. Okay, so go ahead and do that if you're following my exact pattern. Double crochet for 18 more stitches, and then with these two, that'll make 20. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and crocheted for 20 stitches, and after I got off camera, I went and put my stitch marker there so I wouldn't have to keep counting to see when I got to my 20th stitch. So now I think I'm going to leave eight stitches unworked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And so because we're leaving eight stitches unworked, we have to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and yarn over and then I'm going to go into that ninth space and start my double crochets again <clears throat> okay and that's all there is to it there's our little buttonhole or slit for our um, our bow our bow tie if you think that's too big you can make it a little less um, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave mine like that and uh, 
And just so you know, when I come back, I might end up having two shades of this color of yarn because I'm running out. <laughs> but um, this is just for demonstration purposes anyway. I'm probably going to end up taking the whole project apart um, since I don't have enough yarn. And I haven't made it to the store yet. So, okay, just keep making double crochets all the way till you get to the other end. And then just keep going back and forth back and forth once again and so meet me back when you've got the same amount of rows from here right here because that's already one row that we've done when we made that little buttonhole that's one row and so go ahead and continue on making rows until you reach the same amount of rows that you made to get there okay so for me it was 12 and then I made the buttonhole row so my buttonhole row is the first of my of my 12 okay that I'm gonna make my new 12 that I'm gonna make <laughs> all right guys I hope that makes sense all right so now um, that I have my 12 rows my second set of 12 rows I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make a border of single crochets all around the project and so this is the top of the project the bottom is down there this is the side and as you know here um, we would just put one single crochet into each of the stitches but on the side you might think well how do I do that well if you're new I'll let you know that you usually put three stitches in a corner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a single crochet and I'm going to make a second one then when I come around this way I'm gonna put the third one right there right in that same spot and that's going to count as my one two three as my turning corner when you're working with double crochets you know how you chain three because that's the height of a double crochet well you end up with big holes like this and so since it's a double crochet you're gonna put two single crochets in there if you were doing double crochet edging then you would put two double crochet two double crochets in there right now we're putting two single crochets into those big holes okay here's my next one so I'm going to put two there's one and there's two here's my next one so I'm going to put one and two and I'm going to do that all the way around till I get down to the other end when you get to the other end um, you're gonna it's gonna look like this and you're only gonna put one single crochet into each stitch and then when you get around to this end over here you're gonna do the same thing as we're doing here okay you're gonna put two single crochets into each of the big holes alrighty guys I'll see you in a little bit okay so here I am I've already gone all the way around the project and my very last stitch remember I said was going to be in here so let's go ahead and do that and now there's my very first one so I'm going to make a slip stitch to end this see gives it a nice little corner there okay now chain one leave yourself a little bit of a tail so you can weave that in and now just pull that through snug that down and you're done now just go ahead and weave this in with your tapestry needle and so now what we're going to do so this part the cowl is done you are finished so now what we're going to do is the bow all right so basically we're just going to make chains um you can make your bow as long as you want just keep in mind that we're going to make a really long strip and then we're going to fold it in half in the middle and that's going to be the size of your bow okay so it's going to be long but then we're going to fold the two flaps and um that's gonna be the size of the bow so that's what I did for this bow see how it's doubled what I did is I just made a really long piece so it, actually because I folded it in half if you were to unfold it it comes to about right here on this side and to about right here on this side and then I folded it in half I sewed it together and then I made a little um a little band to go around it so what we're going to do right now is the length of the bow 
So you can make yours as long as you want or as small of a bow as you want. I haven't quite decided how many I'm going to do. I think a bow this size is probably what I'm going to do. And I don't remember how many I chained for it. So I'm going to kind of guesstimate. Okay, so we're just going to make chains. Okay, meet me back here when you've got, oh, let me see. Meet me back here when you've got 40 and we'll take a look at it and see if we want the bow bigger or not. Alrighty, have fun. Okay, so I've got 40 chains here and I, if I were to fold it in half, I think, I like things that have like a dramatic, I like things simple but dramatic and to me, that's not as big as I would want it. So I think I'm going to go another 10 chains. You can stop there if you like. Um, so I'm going to go 10 more. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. And I think I will stop there. And that's going to give me a good size bow. Yay! Hopefully it won't be bigger than this one though. Let me see. If I were to fold it in half. Nope, it's about the same. Alrighty guys, so now for your bow, there's the first chain from your hook and there's the second one. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook. Make a single crochet and do this in every chain across, okay? Till you get to that end. And then when you get to the end, chain one, go back the other way and do that back and forth and back and forth until you have 12 rows. And that's when I will be back. Have fun! For those of y'all who might be new and um, don't know how to turn when you're doing a single crochet, I should have thought about this earlier. Um, most of the cowl was done in double crochet, so here I am. I've already done um, a row and I'm ready to turn my work around. And right here, with double crochets, you skip that stitch and go into the next one. With single crochets, you go into that, pick up a loop, yarn over, and go through. And that's your first double crochet, or your first single crochet. And then you just continue on as normal with your single crochets. And you do the same thing all the way down. Alrighty guys, so most of y'all know this, I know, but I know that I get a lot of new crocheters that click on my channel and I want to be able to explain everything to them. I don't want to take for granted that everybody knows how to do everything. So <laughs> there you go, all you newcomers. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I've got my 12 rows right here. And so now what I'm going to do is chain one. And I'm going to leave myself a bit of a tail so that when I bring the flaps closed, I'll be able to stitch it with the tail. Please excuse the noise outside. My um, brother came over to... Uh, um, play with the glamour girls because he's got his grandson so he's got them out there playing and making noise and screaming and stuff okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to find our center and put a you can either put your um, stitch marker there or you can just hold that spot and fold this end over and then fold this end over and just kind of hope that it stays in place because <laughs> um, yeah that'll work all right and now go ahead and thread your tapestry needle and if I can find mine I just had it here oh here it is okay so here's this of course, I have to use my yarn threader or needle threader. Okay, so now that I have my center and I've got the flaps where I need them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack the, um, the ends down. I'm just going to make big stitches right here, and then I'm going to come around this way. And um, that's it. Okay, make sure that I kept my center. All right, so I did... 
Now I can let go of this flap because as long as I tack this one down, I'll know where to bring this one to. Okay, so just do this. Alrighty, so now just go ahead and tug on it. Okay. And that's how your bow tie gets formed. And this tail is fine like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hold the tension and just wrap this extra tail around. Okay, as many times as you need it for it to stay. And you don't always have to make um, this little band right here that I made for my other bow tie. If you do this carefully and nicely, you can actually just leave it like this. Make it, make the, uh, just wind it around till it's about this thick. And that's a nice little effect as well. Um, so if you want to leave it like that, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and make a band for mine so that it'll match the hat. Now I'm going to tie that first tail with this. Okay. Alright, and now I'm going to go ahead and trim these down. Because what I'll do is when I make that band, I'm going to leave a long tail um, after I make the band and the long tail is what I'm going to use to sew the bow tie on to the uh, onto the cowl. Alright, so to make your little band, it's just like you made the bow tie. You can make yours as thick as you want or as thin as you want. I think I'm going to make, hmm, thinking to go around maybe 15 chains. One, two, Three, four, fourteen, and fifteen. Let's see if that'll go around the bow with ease. Perfect. Fifteen is the magic number for me. I'm going to um, single crochet just like we did for the bow in the second chain from the hook. Alrighty guys, see you in a minute. I'm going to stop at four rows because this looks pretty good for the bow. And I'm going to leave myself a bit of a tail so that I can um, sew this on like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to um, whip stitch it. And then with the tail that's left, I'm going to sew this onto my cowl. Okay. So leave yourself a bit of a tail. Okay. Where is it? There it is. You just pull that through, snug that down, grab your bow, and just wrap it around there. And I guess first we need to thread our needle, don't we? In case any of y'all are wondering, I just got this at Walmart. They're at probably any store that you would go to. Walgreens, Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, anything. So okay, I'm going to put the ends together and I'm just going to whip stitch it. I have lots of tutorials that show me making this bow. I've got the doggy dress bow tutorial. I've got the hat bow tie tutorial. I've got this now. So probably don't need to show you how to do this because I've already shown you so many times but for those of y'all that don't want to go click on another link here it is okay I'm gonna use this little tail right here just to secure it and tie it okay I'm gonna trim this tail down this little one 
Okay, now I'm going to get my cowl. I'm going to shut the camera off so I can position the cowl here in a way where you can see what I'm doing on there. Determine how tight you want it around your neck. Do you want it kind of loose? Um, and if so, then just go ahead and factor that in. But what you want to do is you want to take this side and go over to this side and determine where it is that you would like your bow to be. So, because what it's going to do, it's going to look like that. And then you'll have your coat on over it like that. Your neck will stay nice and warm. And then when you get ready to, um, see, so your bow will be sewn in here on this side, kind of at an angle. I'm going to do mine. See how this is going this way like that? Well, I'm not going to follow the bow in that same direction. I'm going to kind of angle it like this. And then when I close it, let's say it's already sewn on, I'm going to use this buttonhole to bring the bow through. Okay, and then see how it comes through the buttonhole like that. So that'll be perfect and that's what this will look like. Okay, this can even look like a little collar if you want it to like this. You can fold this down as so look like that so I think I want mine about right there so determine on yours where you want your bow okay and then I will be back to show you how to sew it on okay so oh now you can see the two different colors so this is where I decided to put mine okay so what I'm going to do is just sew it on like so Okay, let me come up this way. Let me go in, come out. There you go, see? There we go. And just keep doing that till you feel that it is secure enough. What we do? I'm going to make sure that I have it at the angle that I want it. Hold on to it. Then I'm going to come around to the back side. And just do it this way. I'm going to make sure that I'm catching the bow though and securing it. I'm just going to keep doing this till I feel it's nice and secure. Okay, so you keep doing the same thing and then I will show you how it looks at the end. Okay, so when you're done securing it, just um, weave this in and then tie it off, and that's it. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like on spring. I'm sorry that it's two different colors. Just imagine it all the same color as the bow. And it's adorable. If you don't want your bow that big on the cowl, you know, it would look cute a little smaller maybe. So it's not as big as the hat. But I like things simple but dramatic. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. It's what it looks like on, in a coat. Let me see if I can unbutton her and you can see what it looks like if you were to unbutton your coat. So that's what it looks like with her coat open. Of course, she's wearing a white top underneath, so it's kind of hard to see exactly, but that's what it looks like. And we are finished, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun um, instructing y'all in how to make it. And I've been wanting to make this again because the first one that I made, I made for my craft show and it sold. And uh, I just wish I wouldn't have ran out of yarn or I would have kept this one for myself. So I'm going to scrap it and start another one over. Go buy me some more yarn and start another one over. And I'm going to keep that hat and I'm going to keep the new cowl that I make. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, don't forget to join me here again every week for a new tutorial um, at Glamaz. You know what? I wanted to tell you all a story, though. <laughs> I wanted to tell you about... You know, my daughter is here in Texas now, and she's working at the local um, grocery store here. And she has a friend that she met, and he said, hey, um, that they were talking about families. And he says, well, my family has a weird job. And he kind of told her what the job was. And I think like ex-CIA agents or something like that. And she says, well, my mom has a weird job too. She, uh, she makes crochet tutorials. And he's like, really? My brother Hunter um, watches crochet tutorials. And she says, which one? Which tutorials? And he said, a lot of them. And 
he says one of them that he watches a lot she has a weird name and he and my my daughter said is it made with love by glamour and he snapped his fingers and pointed at her and said that's it that's the one he watches <laughs> and i'm like no way out of 50 1,000 subscribers, one of my subscribers actually lives in my hometown of Castroville. Awesome Dawson. <laughs> so if you're out there, Hunter, hi. Big hello and a big hug from Glamma. And another thing that I wanted to say um, to all you 20% of my male subscribers, um, I want to ask you, if you leave down below on the comments, um, what you would like for a tutorial to be, you know, because I, I always do um, female items, but if there's a male item that you would like me to do, just list it down below and I'll learn how to do it and I will make it for you. <laughs> you know, I've never asked that and I've been meaning to ask you gentlemen, what would you like to see as a tutorial so you guys can wear things? <laughs> Not just make everything for your female friends or wives or whatever. So, okay, whether it's a hat, a tie, a scarf, gloves, you name it, list it down below, and I'll see about learning how to do it. All right, guys, I love you. Bye! <laughs>